Hey folks, Gil here. I want to show y'all how I come up with a good spot for uh, worms anytime I want them. Uh, I take grass clippings and I put them in the same spot, pile them up, keep it a little moist, and usually it doesn't take long to come up with some worms. I'm going to dig down in here, but let's see what we can get out of here with just one good scoop. Whoa. I'm gonna look like a snake. Woo, boy. Yes, sir. Don't that look appetizing? Poke holes in the lid. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna give y'all some tips on fishing Lake Mill for brim. Any reservoir, these tips will be good for you. Throw your cork away, fish straight down. I'll show you what I mean here shortly. Let's go get them. Whoa, Mike, whoa. That's a good one. Oh yeah, Sweet. look at mine, boys, look at mine. different if you're fishing a shallow lake but on a reservoir it's uh average 25 28 foot deep and there's a thermocline try to find structure out here in the summer 15 to 20 foot deep i, I like to fish about 18 when i can and i just put a, a little pitch sinker on there and hang the hook six inches under it and according to how much wind you're dealing with you might have to a little extra weight but uh, let me show you how I know what depth I'm fishing this is a good way to do it my rod is six foot so watch this watch it get a grip about right here on the rod get my finger on that line let that line hang down right there to the length of that's six then I, I, I hold on to the line here reach up to the end of the pole let go with my left hand pull it down and add six more feet to it that's 12 then I grip it again here I want to go 15 so I need three more feet I'm gonna reach up here come down about three more feet and that's it that's 15 you can do that to any depth you want to fish and uh, let it go straight down try to hover it over the top of some structure and it don't take long when you're brim fishing with worms so it's gonna take me a few minutes I'm gonna turn the camera off and get back up there where the brim are can't get us another bite right here. I just moved I don't have an hour and a half of daylight left this is a real good trot line brim you could actually get a small fillet off this fish uh, I don't know how many keepers are gonna be here but there's some structure out here and I'm only gonna fish about 13 feet down right here That's perfect for the trot line
Oh no. Not good. Not good. Put down a little bit. That ain't good, boys. That ain't good. But, I will say, besides the dirty word, <laughs> I will say, if you don't hang up every once in a while, you ain't fishing in the right area. So, let me get retied. Oh, a beautiful little sunfish. I don't think there's a prettier fish in fresh water or the ocean than that right there. I mean, look at all the turquoises, and you got your oranges, and you got your black, and you got your white, yellow. I mean, look at that. Yes, sir. It's a beautiful fish. Definitely not on the right size to get a mess of keepers. And it's been a white capping out in the middle. I don't have a lot of time to try something else, but what I'll tell you is today's little episode of brim fishing, I didn't film all my catches because I caught a lot of these throwbacks, but uh, it's a tease to what's coming because when I when I get a day that's not white capping all the way out of the east, all the way down the lake, I'll find some several of those big ones like I showed you and uh, we'll get a good mess of it. Come on. Tell you something about worm dirt. It don't taste very good. I want to accidentally got a little on the mouth. Very nasty. marker out and the wind's blowing right at me this is a uh, very good information if you never fish this way if you got any kind of a breeze throw your buoy marker past it into the breeze that way the wind keeps your boat aiming that direction and you can put it on whatever number you need to accordingly to keep you back behind your buoy marker you got to throw it into the wind the wind has to be coming right into your face in order to do it Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. That's going to eat, I believe. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Woohoo, boy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Might have swallowed it. But that's okay, because he's going to the skillet, baby. Look at that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He fanned me. Last thing he gets to do. Yes, sir. That right there. It's what we come for right there. Yes, sir. I got pliers laying in here somewhere. And oh, by the way, don't reel your line up all the way like I did, like an idiot. Leave your plenty of slack out where you don't have to mess with it. Oh, yes, sir. I knew that already. It's funny how a pair of pliers can hide things. Especially when they're right underneath your seat. I'm just gonna cut the line. He swallowed that thing. That is a nice longer than my hand brim right there, boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good keeper brim. Okay. Got her rig back up. Oh, I got meat licked. Meat licked, boys. Nobody home. 
Ah, that is not what I come for right there, boy, Nauser. It is not. And all that big old worm I had is just gone. Ain't that something? Oh, I got meat licked. Meat licked, boys. Nobody home. Come back, Shane. They're all beautiful. That right there, lovely to catch a big catfish too. All right, let's see if we can get one more real quick. You don't have to use one of these reels if you're not accustomed to it. Zebco 33 will do the same thing. Or a stick with some line on it. Matter of fact, I might just catch a big mess of brim out here sometime with a stick and some line just to show you. You ain't gotta have nothing fancy. Well, that's Gil's theory. That is a beautiful sunset right there, y'all. Hallelujah. Stealer, I'm sure. Yes, sir. That's what it is, boys. Look at there. That's bait stealer. I told you. That ain't as long as my finger. Look, goggle eye. When I was a young man, I made fun of first jerkers. Them old fellers out in the boat catching grim. <laughs> now that I'm an old feller, I totally understand. I'll let the young fellas make fun of me. Hey folks, I had a lot of fun. I got here, they're swaling out of the east for this lake. That's the worst direction to try to get, you know, fish a lot of the spots I like to fish. But sun's gone down, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness, look out there, beautiful. Look what God did, y'all. Yes, sir. I don't believe some ancient explosion caused all that. What about you? And there's a moon right up there, if you can see it a little bit. A little bitty one. All right, then. Let's take a look in here. I know it's pretty dark in there, but... Uh, we got some nice size brim. Whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, that'll eat right there, boys. <laughs> but there's a bunch of them in here. There are a bunch of them. I have to go get these things cleaned up, the ones I can. That's beautiful right there, y'all. Yes, sir. Any day I spend on the water is a good day. If I don't fall and hurt myself or something like that, get, get a hook stuck through me. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this little episode. It's a teaser of way better trips. I don't want to just film the good trips and pretend every time I go it's a limit because it ain't, it ain't for nobody. But, uh, you know, you catch a bunch of fish, it's a good day. I don't care. My standards are low. I mean, I have a good day when I have a pole in my hand. So there you go. Keep it wet. Get the net. Because if you ain't got it wet, you won't need the net. No, sir.